So that was where he was. Later, he came to Sahara and started several other businesses. Well, quite recently, probably 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, he started a company, a um, gentle group of companies. But before gentle group of companies, he had other companies. And I can still remember, most people at IPA, you can remember, I used to give a question called Gentle Limited. Do you remember? Yes. I'm always giving the reason is because I know how it came about. I can still remember when we had a conversation, sir, and you said, it was at Shekhar Stevens Street in the office I was running a consultancy with Jacob Johnson. And you said, you want to involve in an intervention, you want to change something in Sahara. You want to use a business mindset to change something in Sahara. And you want to start it from nothing. So you want to identify things that you can change. And one of the things you identified was construction of roads. And you wanted to change the whole systems and network in Sahara. And you remember we put a project together. Even though I was a seasoned finance and economics and business and accounting person, but 90% of what we did came from you. And I was so surprised with the dexterity of knowledge you demonstrated when we actually caught a final document. Two things that came out of it, how to construct a beautiful filter the world network and how to finance that world network out of the conventional government financial system. Sir, you remember when we had a discussion and it was so vague that nobody could believe that you were going to be able to take that project even though you start knocking doors and making presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, as we speak, as I stand today, most of the roads that are constructed in Freetown and Sahara by an indigenous Sahara was done by somebody without a PhD degree. Was done by somebody who believed in putting things together and make that difference. A, a philanthropist who have met and discussed and helped so many people in Sahara, including me. And that person is our keynote speaker today for a reason. Because he believes in young people, because he believes in talent, and because he's here, not only because he's going to speak, but going forward, he's going to support the initiative of 50 most influential students. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I call and invite Mr. Mwane J to come out. I'm very happy. When I started Gentle Group of Company, we started it together. And when we're putting the document together, you know, that time there was no um, commission of um, registration. It was what building. To put the M and A together was a difficult task. Lako was coming up with all theories. I said to Lako, "It's not a book business for me." And like he was saying here a while just now, my dream to go into the world construction business was based on the fact that we civilians did not believe in ourselves before. We've left the future of our country in the hands of foreigners. And I stepped in and said to myself, I will come as a civilian to make that difference, to let we civilians believe in ourselves. And from that time till today, I thank God I have a good friend like Lako. So you could have a seat side. Um, and she's very difficult to handle. <laughs> Me coming here, I said, I want to read my speech. I want to talk from my heart. I want to say things the way I see everything in this country. And she insisted, no, you have to write it down. And I was like, I'm not used to it. You know, but well, you know lawyers now. They like to look for loopholes. But well, here am I, I'm going to read. I don't enjoy reading, but I'm going to read. This is my own speech. Mr. Chairman, organizers of the 50 most influential student awards, 2022 20, hour days, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
the fourth estate. Good evening to you all. I'm humbled and privileged to be the keynote speaker of this event. May I acknowledge the time and sacrifices you have made in organizing such an event, and I sincerely ask the organizers to always run with this. Today, we are here for the 50 Most Influential Students Award and with the theme, Student Power in Academic Pursuits. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a greater power in academic pursuits. But as you may know, me being an entrepreneur, uh, we want us to look at it from a principal point of a single word called discipline. In pursuing your academic goals, you always have to be aware of self-discipline. Because with discipline, the sky will be your limit. However, the saying the sky is your limit is not as easy as said. Like Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. Whatever you do, make sure you keep moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, in physics, there is a word called thermostat. Let me practically bring it to your understanding that an aeroplane cannot fly without the resistance of the air. Meaning, before the aeroplane flies, there is a system that calculates the temperature of the wing, and after knowing the temperature of the wing, the aeroplane will suppress the wing in order to fly. As you all know, the wing is invisible. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, in pursuing your academic goals, you have to be very mindful of the invisible distractions. In Sierra Leone today, there is an epidemic that is eating up the future of our youth. And that epidemic is called Kush, like you said. So. <laughs> a major distraction for the youthful generation with all due respect I will encourage you to be mindful of this kind of distraction in relation to student power in academic pursuit let me employ you to know that your goal to become a graduate depends on what you do today as I strongly believe my tomorrow depends in what I do today. In you achieving your dreams, you always have to use a vehicle. Vehicle is something that takes you to your destination. And I hope all of you have a destination, you know what you want to be in life. That vehicle needs to be maintenance and service. You need to take care of your vehicle in order for that vehicle to take you to your destination. By doing so, you have to make sure you check your brakes and lubricate that vehicle properly. Don't allow friends and colleagues, people you come across, people you meet at the university to distract you. When you go to university, there is always the good, the bad, and the ugly. But make sure you always go with the good. Let me now take you from physics to economics. One of the accepted definitions of economics is that economics is defined as a social science in all which study human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Student life is not easy. Let us look at this definition in your context. Resources are always scarce, if not insufficient. Therefore, you always have to set your priorities right in order to achieve your goals. In academic pursuit, 
You will meet different people as you go along. This will include the people that I said earlier on, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But always associate yourself with the good. You know, <laughs> I was very opportune to meet with the former president, Ahmed Chijankaba of Blessed Memory in England, right about the early 2000s. And he was very impressed with the business I was doing in England. I had three mobile phone shops at the time. And like, like I said, I was buying and selling houses. He said to me, Sierra Leone needs you, Mohammed Gentle. He said, the young people in Sierra Leone are boom. And there's a great scar that is affecting them because of the long 11 years war. Chijakaba convinced me to come back to Sierra Leone. And when I came back, I started with a civil aviation business and I failed. I wanted to go back to England. I encouraged myself to stay. I went up country, started another mining business. Again, I failed. But I did not give up. I stood my ground and I said to myself, I am going to win. Finally, I started the construction business. And today, Gentle Group of Company is one of the leading construction companies in Sierra Leone. I'm trying to say to you, as students, care less if you that no matter what, you're going to win one day. And be strong to say, it is not over until I win, and always fight to win. On that note, I congratulate all our this tonight, and to those who would not receive awards, I hope this ceremony will serve as an inspiration to you all. I thank you, and I thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Ahmed Jensu Kamaya who has given out the keynote for today's event. Nice, you, eh? <laughs>